When I say hip hop, you say Harry. Hip hop, hip hop. When I say hip hop, you say Harry. Hip hop, hip hop. I'm hip hop Harry. We're about to enter another adventure at the hip hop center. This is the place where the fun begins, and you can't have a story without some friends. Is it you? Is it you? I need some more friends for this story. Is it you? Is it you? We'll explore new things. Come along and see. So my friends are in place. Let the story begin. Ready to learn and have fun. Well, come on in. When I say hip hop, you say Harry. Hip hop, hip hop. When I say hip hop, you say Harry. Hip hop, hip hop. It's on. Yes. Hey, who's interested in a snack? I have some yummy sunflower seeds. That sounds great. I love sunflower seeds. They're my favorite snack in the whole world. They're fun to eat and healthy, too. Haha, <laughs> that's right, Veronica. I've never had a sunflower seed before. What does it taste like? Go ahead, Davide. Find out for yourself. Here, everyone try some. Mmm, sunflower seeds are great. That tastes so good. Haha. <laughs> So, Davide, how are they? Sunflower seeds, they're tasty. Ha 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 ha, great. I'm glad you like them. Help yourself to as many as you like. There you go. Hey! Hey, guys. Hey, Elizabeth. How's, How's it going? going? Who is this? This is my pet bird. I just got him today. His name is Sparky. What kind of bird is he? Sparky's a parakeet. Cool! I've always wanted a bird. Ha <laughs> ha. Sparky looks real cool. Let's take a closer look. Yeah. Whoa. That's really cool. Go, 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 go. Hey, look at Sparky. Whoa, look at his feathers. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. What's the matter, Veronica? Nothing. Oh, that's okay. You can tell me. I'm a little scared of Sparky. Oh. <laughs> and not just the Sparky, I'm scared of all kinds of birds. Why do you think you're scared of them? I'm not sure. I always have been. Oh, it's okay. Everyone's scared of something. Really? Yeah. In fact, I used to be scared of all kinds of spiders. You know what I did to get over my fear? What? <laughs> I picked up a book and learned about spiders. You know, Sometimes the reason people are scared of something is because they don't know a lot about it. Really? Sure. When you get to know more about what you're scared of, it might not seem so scary anymore. Here, try reading this book. It's all about birds. Well, I really don't know much about them. Do you really think this will help? Well, I tried reading about spiders, and I'm not scared of them anymore. Okay, I'll try learning about birds. Thanks, Hip Hop Harry. Haha, <laughs> you're welcome. When I say hip hop, you say Harry. Hip hop, hip hop, on this side. Hey, Veronica, why are you sitting over there by yourself? Is it because I brought Sparky? Kind of. I am afraid of birds. Hip hop Harry says it's because I don't know enough about them. But he's just a little bird. He's not going to hurt you. I guess you're right. This book did say that most parakeets are really good with people. That's really cool to know. Hey, Veronica, are you feeling better? A little bit. You were right, Hip Hop Harry. This book is helping me. And now that I'm learning about birds, they don't seem so scary anymore. I'm glad. You know, sometimes things we don't understand scare us. But it's amazing how learning about something can make a difference in how we feel. Sometimes things scare us, but it's all right. Everyone gets scared on some days and nights. It's gonna be okay. There's nothing to fear when your parents, teachers, and friends are near. Sometimes things scare us, but it's all right. Everyone gets scared on some days and nights. It's gonna be okay. There's nothing to fear when your parents, teachers, and friends are near. Every once in a while, some things scare us. Everybody gets scared, so don't be embarrassed. You could be afraid of the dark at night, but when you turn on the light, everything's all right. So next time you're scared, don't be sad. Just tell someone like your mom and dad. Don't worry yourself.
yourself. One thing is clear, that's when you learn you overcome your fears. Sometimes things scare us, but it's all right. Everyone gets scared on some days and nights. It's gonna be okay, there's nothing to fear. When your parents, teachers, and friends are near. Sometimes things scare us, but it's all right. Everyone gets scared on some days and nights. It's gonna be okay, there's nothing to fear. When your parents, teachers, and friends are near. Let's say your friend has a pet parakeet, and you get scared when you and the bird first meet. Just find a book about birds and read. Then watch the fear slowly start to leave. So if you get scared, count to ten. Or tell your family or tell a friend. Don't worry yourself. One thing is clear. When you learn, you overcome your fears. Sometimes things scare us, but it's all right. Everyone gets scared on some days and nights. It's gonna be okay. There's nothing to fear. When your parents, teachers, and friends are near. Sometimes things scare us, but it's all right. Everyone gets scared on some days and nights. It's gonna be okay. There's nothing to fear when your parents, teachers, and friends are near. So, the more I read and learn about birds, the less scared I'll become? You got it. And to help you out, I invited my friend Wildlife Wendy to stop by. She knows a lot about birds. She could tell you which birds like to play with you and which birds like to be left alone. Wow, I really can't wait to meet Wildlife Wendy. She sounds really cool. When I say hip-hop, you say Harry hip-hop. Hip-hop, put this on! Can I have your attention, everyone? I would like to introduce to you my favorite animal trainer in the whole world, Wildlife Wendy! Hey, everybody! Hello. Hey, Wildlife Wendy! And say hi to all my friends, too! Hey! hey. You know, Wildlife Wendy, before we get started, I wanted to tell you that Elizabeth just got a pet parakeet. Really, Elizabeth? His name is Sparky. I just got him today, and I already love him so much. Oh, it's very important to love your pet. It's also important that you take really good care of him. Oh, I will. I promise. Good. And here's a little tip. When you first get your parakeet, do not pick him up right away because he's scared by his new surroundings. You need to give him some time to learn about his new home. You mean Sparky's scared? Don't you get scared sometimes when you're in a new place? Yes, but when Sparky learns more about Elizabeth and his new cage, he won't be as scared anymore, right? That's right. Okay, I'll wait to pick Sparky up until he feels comfortable around me. Thanks for the tip, Wildlife Wendy. No problem. Now today, we are gonna learn all about birds. Did you know that birds do a lot of the same kind of things we do? Really? That's cool. I think so, too. You'll see, they're not that different from us in many ways. Really? What do you mean? I'll show you. First of all, birds need to pick things up, just like us. Only instead of using hands, birds use their beaks. It must be hard for them to not have any hands. Oh, well, not at all. Here, why don't we let Gilligan show you what I mean. This is Gilligan. Gilligan is a military macaw, and he's 16 years old. He's a teenager, just like my brother. <laughs> he sure is. Now, Gilligan just loves to play the ring toss. Come on, Gilligan, show him how you do the ring toss. Whoa! Yeah, you see, Gilligan wow. uses his beak to pick up the rings. That was yeah. awesome. <laughs> so does anyone want to play a game of ring toss with Gilligan? Oh, oh, I do. Okay, come on up. Hi, I'm Davide. Well, hey, Davide. Uh -huh. We're gonna play a little game. Now you and Gilligan are gonna race to see who can put their rings over their peg first. Only instead of using hands, I want you to pick up the rings with your mouth using this clothespin. Whoa, that's a great idea, Wildlife Wendy. Now Davide will get to see what it's like having a beak like Gilligan. This is going to be cool. It sure is. But this is a game you should only play when there's an adult around. You got it? Got it. Good. So, Davide, you up for the challenge? Yep. This is going to be so easy. There's no way this bird can beat me. <laughs> we'll see. OK, it's time for the ring toss. On your mark, get, get set, it. go! OK, Gilligan's going to take his time getting started. We've got Davide working on the blue one. Gilligan's got the red one. Gilligan's in the lead. We've got Davide not far behind. Gilligan's got the second one. We've got Gilligan with one more to go. Can Davide beat him? I don't think so. Gilligan's the winner! <laughs> wow. That was fun. I can't believe he beat me. Great job, Davide. You'd be surprised to learn everything they can do. 
Everybody, this is Chico. He's only two years old, and he's a Swainson's toucan. Can everybody say toucan? Toucan! Great. Now, Chico's favorite thing to do is eat grapes, only he won't just let me put them in his mouth. He wants me to throw them to him. <laughs> Check this out. Whoa. That was great. That cool. was cool. Now who wants to try? Okay, come on up. What's your name? I'm Jake. Okay, Jake. All you have to do is throw this grape towards Chico, and he'll do the rest. That was Whoa. so cool. <laughs> yeah. Wow, he caught it again. That's really cool. Well, I like Wendy. I am so glad you're here. I'm starting to have so much fun learning about birds. I'm glad you're having a great time. Go, 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 go. Well, now that we've learned a little about birds, we'd like to put on a little show for everybody. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is Casper. Can you say hi? Yeah. <laughs> Casper is an eight-year-old cockatoo. Can everybody say cockatoo? Cockatoo! Great. All right, well, Casper's favorite thing to do is play basketball. Come on, why don't we show him? That's two Whoa. points. Whoa. That was a great job, Casper. Everybody, this is Haley. She's a Catalina macaw, and she's 13 years old. You know, we know each other so well that she really likes hanging out with me. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and when she's not upside down, <laughs> she always has some place to be. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Haley, let's go. That's a good girl. Here we go. Okay, it's time to meet Wazoo. <laughs> This is Wazoo. Wow. <laughs> she's a Congo African Gray, and she's 11 years old. She always has something to say. Here, let me show you what I mean. Hey, Wazoo, why don't we start off with, can you whistle in a neighborly way? <laughs> <laughs> and now I think, well, why don't you say your name? Wazoo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Wazoo, the telephone's ringing. <laughs> <laughs> now there's someone at the door. Very nice. <laughs> Can you call the doggy? <laughs> <laughs> well, now you're scoring big on a video game. <laughs> oh, that was neat. That was cool. Is there water dripping? <laughs> <laughs> now, why don't you blow your bubbles? <laughs> <laughs> you want to give him a juicy raspberry? <laughs> <laughs> now, open a bottle of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> give everyone a big kiss. <laughs> and are you excited? <laughs> she is excited because she's learning to make noises that other animals make. Let's see, let's do a chicken. Good. How about a kitty cat? Here, kitty. Here, kitty. Yeah. And how about a monkey? And are you good looking? <laughs> well, that's Wazoo, my talking bird, and that's my show for today. Yeah! Yeah! That was so cool. That was great. Go, 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 go. I hope everyone had a great time and learned a little something, too. Yeah, yeah. we sure did. I know I did. <laughs> Me, too. I <laughs> never knew birds could play basketball. <laughs> that was a great show, Wildlife Wendy. I sure learned a lot about birds. Now, does anyone have any questions? I do. What have you been feeding them this whole time? Well, that's a great question. These are sunflower seeds. I reward them with one every time they perform a trick. They just love them. These are like the sunflower seeds I love to eat. <gasps> really? Hey. hey, would you like to feed one to Casper before I put him away? He's <laughs> really friendly. Go ahead, Veronica. Why don't you give it a try? Well, okay. Great. That tickles. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you made a new friend, Veronica. I sure have. Thanks, Wildlife well, like Wendy. It was our pleasure. You see, Veronica, birds are just like us. They sure are. I bet when I read more about them, I'll find even more things we have in common. Yeah! yeah. Birds and people, birds and people, different but the same. Some birds do things that people do. 
Both of us hold a certain kind of charm. Both of us like to have fun snacks. Birds like to eat grapes for playing catch. One for me and one for you. Playing catch is what people do. One for me and one for you. Playing catch is what birds do too. Birds and people, birds and people, different but the same. Some birds do things that people do. How many can you name? You know what birds like to do, even though they're not very tall. This bird, and wouldn't you know, it plays basketball. You and I play it with our friends. Birds play it too, what a coincidence. We use our hands, birds use their beaks. What else do we have in common? Some birds speak. Birds and people, birds and people, different but the same. Some birds do things that people do. How many can you name? Birds and people, birds and people, different but the same. Some birds do things that people do. I know so much more about birds now, and I'm not scared of them anymore. Thanks, Hip Hop Harry. Thanks, Wildlife Wendy. You're welcome. Anytime, Veronica. You see, learning about birds really helped. Well, it's time for me to go home and take care of all my birds. <laughs> Thanks, Wildlife Wendy. It makes me so happy when I get to spend time with you guys at Hip Hop Central. And I want you all to know that you make me so proud. Do you know why? Yeah, because I love to learn. That's right. I love to learn. I love to learn. I love to learn. I love to learn. I had a question. It needed an answer. I asked my friends there. Love it when we have fun and learn about new things. Who wants to share something they learned today? Yes, Veronica? I learned that when you are scared of something, it's important to learn about it. Let's take a look. Hey, Veronica, are you feeling better? A little bit. You were right, Hip Hop Harry. This book is helping me. And now that I'm learning about birds, they don't seem so scary anymore. I'm glad. You know, sometimes things we don't understand scare us, but it's amazing how learning about something can make a difference in how we feel. Sometimes things scare us, but it's all right. Everyone gets scared on some days and nights. It's gonna be okay. There's nothing to fear when your parents, teachers, and friends are near. Yeah, that was great. I learned about birds, and thanks to you and Wildlife Wendy, I'm not afraid of them anymore. That's great news, Veronica. And if you're still feeling a little scared, you should talk with your parents when you go home tonight. That's a good idea. I'll talk to my dad. Maybe he knows a lot about birds. Cool. Now, did anybody else learn anything today? Davide. I learned that birds are like us in many ways. Let's take a look. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Haley, let's go. That's a good girl. Whoa. All right, well, Casper's favorite thing to do is play basketball. Come on, why don't we show him? That's two Whoa. points. Oh. Great job, Casper. Whoa, that was a lot of fun. I know those birds are going to need some rest. That show they put on must have been exercise for them. <laughs> I bet it was. And now it's time for my favorite exercise. Dancing! That's right. It's time for the Hip Hop Harry Dance Circle. 
When I say dance, you say circle. Dance. Circle. Dance. Circle. <laughs> All right. Before we get started, it's important that we do what? Warm up. That's right. And I have a warm up dance for us to do. All right, OK. I want to teach y'all a warm up dance. I created it myself. It's called Do the Harry. Let's go. Jump to the left. Jump to the right. Throw your hands up. Now put them at your side. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Jump to the left. Jump to the right. Throw your hands up. Now put them at your side. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Do the Harry. Somebody scream. <laughs> All right. Now that we've warmed up, it's time for the Hip Hop Harry Dance Circle. <laughs> Let's do it. Check out my store. It was really cool hip hop Harry stuff. Who's next? 